Sheriff Simon Lee's last day in office is officially the Sunday. His career has been nothing short of extraordinary. For 44 years, he has served this community. He's seen it all and made people like Larry Flint and Robert Maplethorpe household names. I sat down with him one last time to reminisce about his life of service. That's my courtroom I had redone when I became a judge. In an office Simon Lee's has occupied for 25 years, the walls are now bare, the boxes packed with memories, some good, some not so good, going back to 1971 when he was appointed to his favorite job, Hamilton County Prosecutor. Loved it. Loved the job. When you were prosecutor, you certainly made a name for yourself. I got myself into a lot of issues. <laughs> Fearless, Lease took on cleaning up Hamilton County, and that included a city councilman with a penchant for prostitutes. Oh, Jerry Springer. This particular incident certainly sets a bad example for anybody else to follow. Well, he used a check to pay for the services. Based upon the check, based upon the testimony of the prostitute, he was a dead duck. But I believe it in the best interest of this community that I resign. He resigned, but he didn't leave town. <laughs> but this struggle was nothing compared to the fight Lee's faced in 1977 with Hustler Magazine's Larry Flint. You went after him tooth and nail. Yes, I did. No question about it. Do you regret it ever? No, not at all. Not at all. Lee's trying to rid the county of strip clubs prosecuted the pornographer. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you to set the standards of this community. And it happened. They convicted. Yeah, I knew he would give me everything he could. The case was such hot news, Lease was portrayed in the movie The People vs. Larry Flint. You know, to this day, I have never watched that movie. As judge of the Court of Common Pleas. Lease was a judge from 83 to 87, then appointed Hamilton County Sheriff. In 1990, his next high profile case over homoerotic photographs by Robert Maplethorpe at the Contemporary Art Center. A former Nine News reporter first brought those pictures to the sheriff's attention. These pictures today, these pictures of the work, so-called works of art, would meet the definition of obscenity. Had he not brought those things in here, I wouldn't even know who Maplethorpe was to this day. Instead, Lease raided the museum. A trial ensued, and yet another movie, Dirty Pictures, was made based on the case. Life, the last couple of decades, has been comparably low key. Lease has a reputation for running a tight ship at the sheriff's office. He and his wife Marjorie raised their three girls, Julie, Jill, and Jody. Meanwhile, he lived by his code of family, faith, and nation, and never lost an election. Are you sorry that you didn't run? Again? No, I'm not. It was time to go. I know it's time to go. I'm not going to be able to fill my requirements for that division with the number of layoffs that have to take place. There have been lots of challenges, budget cuts, layoffs, jail space, but Lease is not regretful. He's thankful he was able to serve the people of this county. I love the Hamilton County. I love everything about it, and, and I'll never leave it. And don't think just because he's out of office, he's done working. How's your wife feeling about you retiring? Well, she, <laughs> she, she um, she doesn't want me around the house all the time. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? He knows his wife very well. Here's the deal for her. She's going to get her wish because Lee plans to work as a visiting judge in Hamilton County, so he's going to stay pretty busy, and we wish him all of the very best. You know, if all you know is the gruff exterior that he sometimes projects in public, you only know a fraction of the man because, as you saw at the very tail end there, he has a great sense of humor, very gracious man. And I'll say this. Loves champagne. Ah. Who knew? We, now we have a secret.